Today I will do a highly requested review about the UAG, the Urban Armor Gear, especially the Metropolis version, I should have a look at. Why? Because it is drop tested. Can you see this? With the MIL STD, the military standard 810G, it's a military testing standard and the 516.6 actually means it's the drop test, yeah? So it's the United States military drop test they did with this case. So, and then they state it doesn't break. What I also have here is the Scout version. So what the Scout Days version is, it actually allows you to use your Apple keyboard as well. And we will check out this as well, because it looks like a good alternative to the other video I made with this thing. So let's first look at this, if this actually how this looks like so you know I'm always doing a quick unboxing and there it is I, I bought a blue version there are different versions available so this is the blue version there's a red version a black version and so on and now let's take this out I can't I can't believe that this will actually save my iPad but well we will see let's put it in there and uh, put it like this Let's close it, okay, it fits perfectly. And now, let's do a simple drop testing here. Oh, okay, this didn't sound very good. Oh my, oh my! <laughs> People who follow this channel already know that I have a broken iPad thanks to the Apple keyboard folio here, which is not very protective. So I had this issue here and um, I had to buy a new one. So this is the trick behind it. So <laughs> I won't repeat the military drop testing test here. And now we have put back in the original iPad Pro. And I have to say, it feels really good. So the material is really nice, the looks are very nice, and it seems, you know, it's not very problematic with any grains or something like that. And in here, you actually have a nice tissue feeling, so it really feels expensive. This is the new version of the, of the UHG case. I have seen other reviews where they have uh, Apple Pencil holder here, so it's not available anymore, so it's not on there. That's the third generation of this iPad Pro case and obviously they made a few changes again because in another video I saw you can actually stick your Apple Pencil on the side, but I already thought this is just useless because you only want to put it on top. And they also added here an additional holder. Okay, so in the other video I saw, this wasn't there. So it was only plain and you could put your Apple Pencil on top. Now you have an additional protection and holder and a nice flap which just goes around. And if you open the flat, flap, it, it actually doesn't stick. So if you compare it to the Logitech Folio case with the keyboard, you have this flap as well. However, they made a magnet on the back side, so it will also stick when it is open on the back side. And when you close it, it stick like, like it sticks here. It's also much wider than this one is obviously. The difference is the side of the flap, this flap from the Logitech Folio is on the side from the iPad. So you see, when you open the, iP the iPad and it stands like this, you have the flap on top and you don't want to hang this, fla this flap hanging into your display. So they made a magnet to, to stick it on the back. In this case, it's the opposite. So it is on the side from, well, there's no keyboard, but it's on the side that is opening. And on the side from the, the, the iPad, there is no flap. So there's no need for any magnet. That's a good solution. And it looks very, very nice. So the, the, the buttons are okay reachable. Due to this part, it's a bit, it is not as easy to reach the buttons, but it's okay, you can reach them. And the power button is very nice to press. And that's a very important thing for me, which also in the Sugo case allows to, you know, have a nicely pressed buttons, buttons here. And just, this is not always the case with other cases. You got it. Okay, so we got actually one, two, three positions. Whereas the smallest position is this one. 
Let's see if I can go any further down. No, it's not possible. That's the flattest position and there are no magnets in there. Okay, so if you compare it to the Sugu case where you actually can just flap it open and you have all these different positions here with magnets so it will re really stay still. You see that's the how far you can go down with the Sugu case compared to the UHG case. So it goes much further down. Now you can see here the comparison between the Sugu case and the UHG case. So if you compare it with the Logitech, for example, with that, which has the keyboard, you are even steeper. However, for all the other cases I reviewed, you get magnets on here that it's holding it. That's not the case in UHG, so it is not holding as stiff. However, due to the surface they use and the tissue, it holds okay. And if you just want to use it for watching movies and you know writing on a keyboard and not writing with your Apple Pencil, then this case could be for you. However, as soon as I want to write with my Apple Pencil, I need something that goes flatter. So there's a position you can go like this and this would be a great position to write on. However, they didn't add any holes in there. Maybe you can see this, that there are base in there and they should just add it here so I can bring it more flat because the stability in the back would be there. So I wonder why they didn't add it this way. So it is not possible to remove the back side. Others said this would be removable, but it is not removable. Compared to the Subo case, I'm not sure if I would recommend it. If you really need a drop protecting case, then maybe this UHG one would be for you because what it actually has, it has air protection in here. So when it hits the ground, it will just spread the force all over the iPad instead of concentrating it at one point, which favors the breaking point on, on this position here. So also the price for this is pretty high. It's about the same price as you would pay for a Suku case. So I'm not sure if I can highly recommend this. It is a nice case. It feels very well made and it looks great. The right openings are here for the speakers and on the back you have also the openings for your microphone and so on. I saw in another video where they had a open here for, you know, the connectors from the keyboard. It was useless anyway. So it seems they left it out now on the new version. So it is a overall good protected version. Only here this part is not protected. And if you take out the Apple Pencil even more is exposed here compared to the Sugu case where everything is closed and you can just put your Apple Pencil in here and the Apple Pencil is even protected in here if you compare it. You know, if you see this. I understand there is no flap on the Sugu case to hold this Apple Pencil, but I never had any problems of the Apple Pencil falling off with the magnet because due to the shape, the Apple Pencil is embedded in here. There's no exposure of the Apple Pencil than you would have on the iPad Pro itself or, you know, on other cases where it just sticks on the side, points where it can just hit somewhere, it is really nicely solved in the Sugu case. So here you have about the same and you have the additional, additional holder here and with the flap, but you see it can move around. If it sticks anywhere, it will just move around and eventually it can drop off, you know, in your backpack. Um, but it needs a bit of a force and so on doing this. However, compared to the Sugu case, I think um, the Sugu case is a, is a real winner here. If you want to use a keyboard with this case, it's not possible. Well, it is possible. You could use a Bluetooth keyboard. I made a video about this, the foldable Bluetooth keyboards to be highly mobile. But many of you already have this Apple Folio keyboard. And having this Apple Folio keyboard and your iPad in here and if anything drops on this keyboard it will result in this okay so you can see where it hit actually something dropped there it was only can you see this the thing that dropped here was only 200 grams but it broke the whole ipad so um, i wanted to have more protection so i showed you 
in another video this thing which is very cheap and it is a nice extension of the keyboard so if you want to watch this video in detail but all you have to do is just put it on here then you not only have a additional protection of your iPad but you also have a holder for your Apple Pencil okay so check out this video because I also explain how you modify this additional case so it works the best so we want to compare this now to the other UHG case that was recommended to me, which is the Scout version. And the Scout version actually allows you to use the Apple Folio keyboard as well. And it seems like that they are doing exactly the same thing as you see here, but in a much better version. If we compare these two, obviously this is flimsy and it is transparent, which always looks cheap when you put something like this on back or you have this one and I have to say this feels awesome and it also has the you know even in here it's engraved that it has the it was drop tested so you can put in here your iPad and it will be protected against drops and you can now add this to your keyboard so there's actually a manual how to do this well we just have to stick it in here so that's all we have to do so bringing in the keyboard is already a much easier process than here with the cheap version so that's uh, a good thing and now let's put in the iPad and there we go and here we have it and we have also the iPad holder here on top which holds nicely that's 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 great and we can close it like this and uh, the Apple keyboard fits nicely and it even closes so this means it doesn't open automatically because they added an additional uh, flap here which where you have to put in your Apple keyboard okay so now it's completely sealed and the keyboard is actually embedded in this case that's a really really nice solution and you have a protection all around however if they say it's a drop test ensured what about the backside okay so it seems they only say it's drop tested for the edges and for their own case however there's still non-protected parts of your iPad so if it drops like this on something else it will break eventually as well so let's see how it will work for writing it's a little bit hard to open and now we can put it like this and there we go this is a great solution everybody this is a great solution did you watch the video where i showed you this the problem with this one was that you had also like here and it was i was actually afraid about like here we also have these corners okay and these corners were here as well and I had to cut them off because as soon you opened it and you wanted to put it on here it was here on the bottom too wide so it didn't fit anymore so I had to cut this off in order to in order for the iPad to attach to the keyboard again however by cutting this off we exposed now the, the corners of the iPad and here we have a really nice solution so now we can easily bring the iPad in the position we want to and we have everything here on the back because this part bends and this is a really awesome solution so if you watch this video I really recommend now this one it is a more expensive than this one obviously but uh, as you saw I had to adjust the corners and everything and in this case everything is nice and also the way how the Apple keyboard integrates in here is a really 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 nice solution we have here so let's see what actually the weight of the whole thing is so the UHG 550 grams which is a lot compared to the Sugo case it is only 490 grams okay so this is 60 grams more for the UHG case while I, I already recommend this one and this one even has more magnets and everything in there and still the UHG is more heavy than this one and you feel it by just holding these two cases so what about comparing the Apple folio case from the UHG including the Apple folio 
it's 690 grams, okay? So if you compare this now to the Logitech Folio with the keyboard included already, it's 700 grams. So this combination of the UHG and the Apple Folio case is still 10 grams lighter than the Logitech Folio case. And many of you already complained about its heaviness here. And obviously it's much more lighter than having a bridge keyboard. I showed you in another video as well. So let's see how much the Apple Folio is at, on its own is. It's 409 grams, the Apple Folio. So it is about 300 grams and this little piece here protecting your keyboard and holding your Apple Pencil. Okay, now the big question. What is the best case anyway? So if you are looking for a case that is an, is an addition to your existing Apple keyboard folio, and then I highly recommend now the UAG version here, because for the, for, the, for the cases I showed you in this video, that it bends back and it perfectly fits, and when you close it, everything is really protected. Of course, if something drops on here, it is still not as good as protected as before. However, the situation I had here with the dropping, it's very rare. It's more like, you know, dropping the whole thing on the floor. However, if you're looking for something that doesn't include a keyboard and you want to use your iPad mainly with an Apple Pencil, then I cannot recommend a UAG case in a way, I recommend the Subo case. Um, if you want to see the in-depth video about the Subo case, you can go, just go there and watch it. Uh, I show you several reasons why this is the best case in my opinion. But um, for the price, compared to the value, I think the Subo case is still the best value for its price. As it has the perfect Apple Pencil integration, really nice working buttons, and the most important thing, that, that the positioning goes far more down than the UAG case does. And also how stable the positioning is. So this will eventually drop off and so on. So um, I, don't, I don't think and this is a very good solution for its price. If you want to have only a case to cover your iPad and you know have it in a different positions, then the Suku case is for me still the best case 2019 to get for. And if you're looking for an iPad case that includes already a keyboard, so you don't have the Apple keyboard folio, but you know you want to have a case that includes the keyboard already, then I recommend you the InnerTech keyboard. So I made a video about this as well, where you can just detach the keyboard as well and you have much more button choices than you have actually for the Log Logitech Folio version here. And you have different positioning and there are many reasons why I recommend the InnerTech version. So go and check out this video if you're looking for an iPad case with a keyboard integrated. So I hope you like this video and it gives you an impression what cases are out there and what you actually want to use. There are many, many cases out there and I got get requests every day to do reviews about certain cases and I look, I look at these cases and I'm always looking for the best case. So for my, in my opinion, I'm using on a daily basis the Sugu case or if I need the Apple Folio, I used to use the Apple keyboard folio with this iBlesson uh, protector on the back, but I will switch now to the UAG version here because that's the much better version. So if you think there's a much better case out there, something I missed to mention in here, just go to the comments below and let us know, especially join our Facebook group. There are lots of discussions going on, what app to use, what iPad cases to use and so on. Join us there and ask anything about how to go paperless. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channels because there's much more awesome stuff to come.